For years now people have speculated about what's beyond our planet. Many believe that we share our universe with other life forms, while others have said that as of right now we are alone, as no telescope or advanced civilizations have made contact. Believers though have said that photographs taken by NASA and other space agencies show interesting anomalies in our solar system, and although it's important to apply a level of scepticism towards these images, they do create an interesting discussion around the topic of whether we're alone in the universe. Something interesting was just captured by NASA officials, with them saying that a large object has made contact with the sun, causing a large explosion to happen. The images were captured by the Alaska C2 satellite, and when the images were released people were questioning what could have caused the large eruption, saying that it doesn't look like a normal solar flare. Lasco images help NASA and other space agencies to log solar and transit events. It's announcements like these that have led some amateur researchers to look closer at our sun, with some of them saying that every year strange objects can be seen in and around the sun. Some of these photographs match typical descriptions of mysterious flying crafts, and although NASA has quickly shut down these statements and said that they don't exist, and that what people are seeing is likely space debris. Other scientists have been a little more open-minded, saying that advanced civilizations may even be travelling across the Milky Way, and harnessing power from things like the sun and even black holes. One recent article was published in January of this year, in which scientists said that aliens could be sucking out energy from black holes. Alien civilizations have long fascinated scientists as well as the general public, and now it's theorised that advanced civilizations could be travelling to black holes and harvesting their energy. The researchers even said that this could explain why they detect flares and disruptions close to these celestial entities. The study was published in the Physical Review. As of right now, this is just a theory. But the scientists said that black holes can be found throughout the Milky Way galaxy, and that if we had a better way to observe them, then we might be able to detect advanced civilizations using them as a source of power. Astrophysicist Luca Cosimo was behind the study, and said that we need to figure out what extracting energy from a black hole looks like, and that once we figure out a way to do this, we could observe and detect distant advanced civilizations. He said the following, We've only done the physics in this paper, but I'm now working with a colleague of mine to apply this to reality, to look for civilizations, to try and see what kind of signal you would need to look for. End quote. Although mysterious flying crafts that are allegedly seen near the sun don't win over hardcore scientists, the theory of advanced civilizations travelling to the sun to use it for energy does hold up. In fact, our sun is so powerful that scientists have said that the amount of sun that hits the Earth's surface in just one hour is enough to handle the world's energy consumption for one year. This has caused some to say that we need to be using our sun more, and that our current methods are outdated. We can convert sunlight into electrical energy, and we currently have the technology to store this in things like storages and batteries. So although it may sound outlandish that advanced civilizations would travel to the sun to gather energy, the theory does make sense. Teams of MIT researchers have said that they are currently working on ways of capturing and storing the sun's heat, and this is for the sole purpose of it being able to generate electricity when needed. Energy MIT said the following on their website. The new system is simple, durable and inexpensive. Mirrors mounted on a hillside reflect sunlight directly into large tanks of molten salt, which absorbs the heat throughout its depth. The system can handle the intense power of the midday sun, as well as temperature changes throughout the day and night, without structural failure or interruptions in power production. Modeling studies and lab-scale experiments confirm the viability of the concept, and the availability of extensive hilly areas suitable for installations. End quote. 
As mentioned, although scientists and space agencies have said that we've never detected aliens or an advanced civilization, there's some who theorize that aliens are harvesting energy from the sun, and these come in the form of strange crafts that can be seen hovering around the sun for several hours before they fly off. Amateur researchers have said this is a good test to see what's going on around our sun, and have said that NASA should be investigating what these strange objects are. For decades now, these strange looking crafts have been detected by solar observatories around the sun, and due to NASA's replies it's only caused some to become more curious. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration has said that they've investigated these objects, and that every time they turn out to be things like space debris, solar flares or debris caught in the equipment, which ends up giving off the illusion that something is there when it isn't. Regardless, some still hold on to the idea that these objects are in fact advanced crafts that are travelling to our sun, and suggested that they're doing the exact same thing we are, and that's using our sun for its energy. NASA did say the following on their website. Astronomers have found countless planets orbiting other stars. Some may have conditions suitable for life as we know it, and on some of these worlds, Life may have evolved to the point where it produces technological civilizations. Since planets around other stars are so far away, scientists cannot look for signs of life or civilizations by sending a spacecraft to these distant worlds. Instead, they must use powerful telescopes to see what's inside the atmospheres of exoplanets. A possible indication of life or biosignatures could be a combination of gases like oxygen and methane in the atmosphere. End quote. Time will tell whether we find anything of interest. This mysterious satellite photograph has caught the attention of many. The photographs were captured by a Google satellite, and were taken on an island in the Pacific Ocean. What's particularly interesting about this is that the island is far away from any human civilizations. The abandoned and isolated island doesn't have anyone nearby, so people are wondering what this strange object is. The alleged crash site caught the attention of many amateur researchers, who went on to say that this could possibly be an unidentified flying object, and said that you can even see skid marks behind it. As mentioned, the island is pretty much in the central Pacific. It's surrounded by nothing but the ocean. Users have said that if it's something like a ship or a piece of plastic, how has it managed to leave skid marks hundreds of feet in length across the whole island? Others carried on from this and said the object in question is around 40 to 50 feet in diameter, and must be heavy or crashed as it was able to leave deep skid marks in the ground on the island saying that it can't just be on the surface, as satellites were able to detect this thing from space. For years now, believers have said that there's certain locations where these types of discoveries are being made, and that when first looking at them, they do appear to be in the shape of a UFO, noting that many of these can allegedly be found in places like Antarctica, and they too leave behind these strange skid marks. This discovery also reminded some of the Baltic Sea Anomaly, which is an alleged craft that crashed into the Baltic Sea, and that has the overall appearance of a spaceship, with those that discovered it saying that when you go over the top of the anomaly, it interferes with electronic devices. Not everyone is convinced though. This person said the following, It's hard to know how much of the island is elevated, and whether something man-made would be able to travel across the island. What I will say is that it's not uncommon to see man-made things wash up on an island out in the middle of nowhere. If I had to guess, I'd say this is part of a ship that washed up on the island, and due to winds and perhaps slight erosion of the island, it was able to travel across and leave this skid mark. End quote. Regardless of the origins of this object, it still creates an interesting discussion, and that's where did these strange crafts come from? Since the first reports of flying saucers were made over the past few centuries, many people have given their opinions on what they think they are, and where they come from. 
over the past few decades, after an endless amount of gathered reports have been made, there have been a few widely accepted theories surrounding the origin of the flying saucers and their primary reason for visiting humanity. One interesting comment that keeps coming up is that either way you look at it, humans are being lied to. Those who've looked into and studied these crafts have said that officials say they're not real, but if that's the case it means that they belong to us. And if they belong to us it means that humans have crafts that are able to travel at tens of thousands of miles per hour, and that we're being lied to on a daily basis about the kinds of craft we have at our disposal. So either way you look at it, whether they belong to us or not, we are still being kept in the dark about these mysterious flying objects. Believers have said that unless 99% of us are being kept in the dark, it's unlikely that these things belong to us, and that the more accepted explanation is that these crafts are either visiting us from outer space, or they live within our oceans, a theory that's currently getting more acceptance. After officials have come forward and said that many of these crafts have been observed coming from our oceans, Regardless of where you sit on the spectrum, it's no secret that some of these reported crafts are real, and that they are able to do things that we can't explain. Military officials have said that these crafts are often tracked by jets and other pieces of military tech, and that very rarely are they able to catch up to them, and when they do chase them they've reported that they can fly off at incredibly fast speeds or in some cases they've been observed splitting off into various different balls of lines, then flying off into different directions. It's testimonies like this that have caused some to say that we have no idea what these things are, and that we can't begin to understand how they're created and where they come from. Pilots have often detailed their encounters with these mysterious crafts, and have said that sometimes they don't even bother reporting what they see, as they'll often be judged and could even be demoted from their current position. It's an interesting time in regards to these mysterious flying crafts, as many have pointed out that even officials are starting to discuss them, and where they're coming from. Although some believers are happy of how the topic is being brought into the mainstream media, they've still said that there's a lot of classified documents that the public doesn't know about, and that some of these need to be released to the general public so that we can start moving forward. So what do you make of this alleged crash site? Do you think it's a downed unidentified flying object? Or could this be something man-made like a piece of a ship? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.